to Bazaz Studios, it's Lori. Thanks for joining me for another video. And I'm gonna do a flower today. At least that's my goal, my bloom technique. And I'm gonna create a flower from it. So I have a four inch ceramic tile here. It's a glazed tile. I'm gonna pour down my White House paint. The White House paint recipe and everything is down below in the description box for you if you'd like to reference it. I'm gonna cover my tile here completely with my paint and I'm gonna give it a spin to level everything out. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for joining me again. If you find my videos inspirational and you find them helpful, please do remember to hit the like button. That does help me out on YouTube. It'll also help other artists find my videos. YouTube loves interaction. So if you could subscribe and hit the like button, that helps everybody out in return. And I appreciate your help with that. Thank you. Okay, so there we go. I have my white house paint down. I'm gonna give it a spin here. I'm gonna make it nice and level. It looks really good. A little bit dry over here on this corner. I'm gonna add a little more paint too. I'm gonna add a little more on my edges here all together, actually. I don't recommend trying to do this while your spinner is still turning, but you know, <laughs> sometimes I don't have as much patience as I should. All right, there we go. That looks good, lovely, lovely. I actually don't see any air bubbles at all, so that's nice. I'm gonna add a little dab, whoop, a little bit more than I wanted, but a little bit of white there in the center. Okay, my colors today, I'm using Grumbacher Phthalo Yellow Green. I'll put this down first, right in the middle. My next color is Liquitex Basics Phthalo Green. This is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Medium Hue. And then I'm gonna put down some orange. This is Artist Loft Orange. And then I'm using Light Magenta, also from Artist Loft. I like to mix different brands of paint as well as different transparents and opaques because it gives you good results as far as cells and different reactions within the paints. So I'm using different brands. This is Decor 24 Karat Gold. And my last color will be Copper. This is Amsterdam Copper. So I think I have one, two, three, five different brands of paint. Wow, I didn't realize I had that many. Five different brands. I'm tipping my spinner just so I can recenter my paint on my tile. That looks pretty good. And I actually don't have air bubbles. And if I do, they're very tiny and I'm not even gonna worry about them. I have a white cell activator. It's Amsterdam's titanium white mixed with Australian Floetrol. My cell activator is mixed three to one. I'm gonna put this down in the center. Then I'm gonna blow this out by mouth. As I started to blow, I forgot I was gonna do a flower and I started blowing <laughs> a little bit more than I wanted to. And then all of a sudden I realized, oh yeah, I was gonna do a flower. When I do my flowers, I do it a little bit differently. So yeah, I was getting a little carried away there with my blowing. So I should have left it uh, a little lighter over here, but that's okay. I think it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna blow a little bit over here. I'm sort of forming my petals here by blowing on the paint. This looks really nice. My colors are really pretty. I have nice cells coming up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this inward. 
like that. And then I wipe this off in between. I'm gonna blow a little bit more here. That's better. Let's try to widen it, widen it. I am trying to widen it a little bit. <laughs> and I'm trying to talk. Apparently I forgot how to talk. Okay, I like that. Now let's go to this side. I'm trying to catch my paint as I lift my skewer up out of the paint so that it doesn't drip back down onto my flower. Oh, this looks really pretty. I don't want too much of that to drip off of here, so I'm wiping that edge. I don't wanna to lose too much paint over there. I am not going to spin this. I'm gonna leave it just like this. So I have more paint under there than I would like. I need to make sure I get all that off so it doesn't continue to pull and distort my petals anymore. I really like these colors. Ooh, it looks really pretty. I like this a lot. I love the cells. I've got some pink, some gold, some copper, some purple, and some green. All mixing in here in the different colored cells. It looks really pretty. I have a lot of paint on my tile because I didn't spin it. Um, but I don't think it's too much where it'll be an issue when it dries. I usually tend to do this a lot when I make my flowers because a lot of times I like it just the way it is. Other times I do spin it. I'm never really sure what I'm gonna do until I see the results after I blow it out. So I don't always actually know what is going to happen until it happens. I'm gonna just um, do a little something over here. I'm sort of shaping my, my petals. This is how I shape my petals. I give it a little bit more shape to it. Oh, wicked pretty. Yes, I said wicked pretty. Can you tell I am from the Northeast? If my accent didn't give it away, that certainly should. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Let me get you a close-up. Okay, here we go. Here's our close-up. Some of this is just amazing. Look at the cells and the lacing. Can you see that little swirl in there? So pretty. Let's see if I can point it out for you. Right here, at the tip of my skewer, there's a little tiny swirl right there. It's really cute. It's really pretty. So pretty, but I love the coloring. Look, there was coloring underneath. It's got shimmer to it because of the gold and the copper. The cells are all so pretty, different colored cells. I love this, it's really pretty. All right, if you have any questions or um, would like to leave a comment for me, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Please join me for more videos by subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you can get notified when my videos are uploaded and hit the like button. And I'll see you again soon on the next video. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye for now.